all right so in this video I'll show you how you can run Emacs on terminal okay uh, sound familiar it should be because the experts probably have already made a video and show you how to do that but I'm doing it for my sake and whoever is like me uh, who rarely hop onto terminal to run Emacs look at this this is the Emacs we people generally use I'm I mean 80% of the Emacs user they use Emacs this way the GUI version because Emacs is a departmental store it has got so many things under one roof so, and few of them strongly bounded with GUI okay so people generally run Emacs on GUI version like this okay it's, it has more eye candy it has got more functionality uh, I'm saying more functionality means I haven't explored in detail about the terminal version of it to get all the functionality it provides here on the GUI version on terminal okay so without further ado let me invoke uh, you need to invoke Emacs on terminal with a hyphen nw flag okay what are those um let's find out uh it says no window system okay do not communicate with the X server ignoring the display okay when you run it on terminal it's supposed to be run like this okay there are other option you can explore it at your leisure to fine-tune it if you if you decided to run Emacs on terminal so many people run it I hardly run it generally I'll stick with the GUI version but in this demonstration I'll show you how you can easily run it NW see the <coughs> uh, ignore this uh, this uh, pop-up coming uh, this is coming for different reason it could be delish shut it down so the color is messed up because it is reading my dot emacs file and my dot emacs file is tailored for the GUI version so that particular color is badly displayed here okay on GUI version it looked like this and it rendered like this the first thing you need to do uh, because I rarely hop onto terminal to run Emacs I haven't changed the key combination what I used on on the GUI version okay so my meta key has changed to escape on if I run Emacs on terminal escape and X and then I say customize what the heck is going on okay see I'm not comfortable Miles Tim now arrow key as I said I haven't changed my the arrow key doesn't work so I have to use tab to going 
down you can relate to as control N and shift tab to go up you can relate to as control P you could easily change all this thing I never bothered to okay so that's why find a color which should sink much better yes now okay so it still it's ugly it, it could have I could have used much beautified theme or something like that but now it's much more readable <laughs> the point is like that okay so yeah, you can see the buffer like this um, and uh, you can hover through so and you could possibly do whatever whatever you wanted to do or whatever you do on GUI version you can do right So okay. So open a file, you can close it. I, I close the buffer with a control Q that also mapped in my Emacs dot Emacs uh, file. You can map it also if you if you if you if you get my dot emacs file. What else to show? Uh, basically, Control X, Control J, jump to the dart like the GUI version. So nothing. Um, I, I believe you, you, you understand right it, that uh, it, it, it could be used as every other like every other editor right only the key press will be different what you used to do on GUI version that can be hard coded if you are really inclined to use it on TTY you have to put some code which is related to TTY uh, in your dot emacs file okay so uh, now if I go here this is the color scheme right you can change it a uh, different way it has mentioned here or you can do a Google search like me Emacs running on TTY I'm just clicking on random blog written by somebody else. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. See, you can you can set the terminal like this and run it. Okay. In my case, I'm. I'm running it on ST is a suckless terminal which is heavily patched by me and I'm running Emacs on on ST terminal okay like uh, it mentioned here uh, you can run it to your your favorite terminal or something like that 
I just hop onto just random random blog written by somebody else. You can you can you should uh, read the Emacs documentation for that. Okay. I found it. I've seen people are. I don't know. Maybe the Mac user base is huge. I never used Mac and Mac in my entire life and I have no intention to use Mac. Uh, at this age I cannot afford to learn a new keyboard stuff. Okay, so uh, absolutely my personal opinion. Okay, so the basic idea is that you can run Emac like every other uh, editor on terminal and you can do all the stuff what what are you basically edit the file and i don't know how how the how the other stuff will be working because i haven't explicitly or intensely uh, about this running on terminal uh, if you have done so you could you could suggest me you could tell me how i can improve the experience on the on the comments uh, your 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 comments are welcome if you if you but make sure you should be absolutely explicit and point me to where you work instead of going to I love explicit to the point stuff okay so I hope this will give little bit of help to some people who are curious about it and I'm wildly assuming people people don't know how to how to run Emacs on terminal. Uh, again, that's a that's a uh, that's not a that's not a real um, expectation or something like people already know about it. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Thanks for watching.